What are your reflections on the day? Um, awesome. You know, I think the the art and the old courthouse, when you think about the history of Dred Scott and uh, what happened right here in St. Louis and uh, it's the art and its magnificence and what the great opportunities are. Just uh, it's, it's been an awesome day. I'm, uh, I'm just... Uh, I'm delighted to be here, to be here in St. Louis. First, uh, Dan Wenk has uh, been leading our national parks now uh, ever since I became Secretary of Interior, and so we've done work all around this country, and this is an important project for us here uh, with the Arch, and so uh, I asked Dan to come with me to St. Louis. I'm here uh, because uh, Claire McCaskill had uh, asked me to come to uh, St. Louis and to... uh, put a focus on the arch and uh, the opportunities to improve the arch and uh, to work closely with the National Park Service as uh, we try to revitalize uh, the arch and uh, the connection to uh, to St. Louis. And so uh, that's why I'm I'm here at, at her request. I'm also here because um, our Secretary of the Department of Interior, one of the things that I quickly rec- have recognized is that we really are the Department of All of America. The first week on the job, I went to the Statue of Liberty with them because I wanted to uh, make that statement that we were not just the Department of the West, but we have uh, huge assets uh, all over this country, including uh, the East and obviously uh, here in uh, along the Mississippi River in Missouri. And part of what I have been doing as Secretary of Interior is um, uh, letting people know that uh, my prior- priorities include um, you know, energy and climate change, two, the treasured landscapes of America, three, working with our Native American communities, for youth and uh, empowering youth to be involved uh, much the way that Franklin Roosevelt did, um, and five, working on uh, select water issues and water management issues all around the country. This journey for me into Missouri Day is about the treasured landscapes of America because it's um, about jobs and how we create jobs through the landscapes and hallowed grounds like uh, the old courthouse here in St. Louis. Uh, it's about telling the story of America through uh, the history of our country and uh, the migration that we see that happened right here through St. Louis, uh, through the Louisiana Purchase and the Settlement of the West. And so I wanted to come here and to put a spotlight on that in terms of how it happens uh, here here in Missouri. Uh, Just the arch alone and uh, our national parks activities around the arch uh, bring in uh, over 2 million visitors a year. On average, uh, over 1,600 jobs a year created just through that economic activity. Uh, $10 million plus are uh, contributed to the local economy just from that particular facility here. And so in these uh, tough economic times that the nation is going through, that Missouri is going through, I think it's uh, important to remind ourselves that uh, there is huge job creation that takes place through uh, some of our assets that we have uh, right here in in the United States. And uh, these are jobs through tourism that cannot be exported to other places. They're uh, job engines that are right here in our local communities. Um, The last thing I would say is um, we have um, a lot of work to do. Uh, with respect to uh, the arch and its future, and uh, connecting it up to uh, St. Louis uh, and to the metropolitan area, as well as connecting it to the other side of the river in Illinois and uh, East St. Louis. Uh, I was uh, interested in uh, seeing how there is a disconnect today uh, between uh, this national icon that we call the arch on the one side uh, of the highway and uh, and Memorial uh, Boulevard, and then on this side where we have the, the courthouse and the other part of uh, the national park assets. Uh, and so one of the things we need to do is to find a way of uh, connecting um, the, the arch to the community of St. Louis, and that will be a priority of uh, President Obama, and that will be a priority of mine. Uh, the, you know, the president and I will work closely to make sure that we're working with uh, the mayor and uh, with uh, members of the Senate and Congress to to make that happen. At the same time, uh, one of the things that uh, became very apparent to me as I studied uh, the Arch and uh, the Mississippi is that there's a connection to Illinois and that uh, East St. Louis uh, is a very important part of of the picture. And so I hope that as the um, um, design competition takes place uh, here that uh, the National Park Service has been overseeing with their preferred alternative that one of the things that uh, comes out of that design concept is how we can connect up uh, this side of the river to, uh, to East St. Louis as well. Uh, so I'm very excited about this project. Uh, it will, I think, uh, you know, in our time as uh, part of the you know, President Barack Obama's administration, that uh, we'll have a great focus uh, right here on this uh, opportunity. Uh, the limitations right now uh, that we have 
Uh, but it also, through those invitations, I think we see great opportunity for something that really can be celebrated uh, here in St. Louis and that can actually tie the two states together. So with that, I'd be happy to take questions on uh, any of the issues I've been working on, anything that might be on your mind. Well, we editorialized today in anticipation of your arrival that we hope that you would emerge as a champion of national urban parks, Mr. Secretary, and that um, in my time looking into this, and I haven't been a long time on the beat, um, there seems to be a consensus that, uh, that, that cities have not fared especially well under the National Park, National Park System. Do you see during your time as uh, Secretary of the Interior a, a larger focus in, in our cities in terms of the Park Service's presence? The answer to that is yes. I mean, we, uh, you know, people know about the great uh, parks that we have uh, in Yosemite and at Yellowstone and uh, uh, the Everglades. But um, not as many people actually know that you know it's the national parks that, that, that oversees uh, the Statue of Liberty and, and Liberty Island. And the fact of the matter is that as the United States of America has changed over time, it's become a much more urbanized population. And so, uh, looking for opportunities, whether it's uh, the Presidio in San Francisco or uh, the Arch here in uh, St. Louis or the Statue of Liberty in New York, uh, will be something that uh, will be high uh, high priority for us. What are the challenges you think to making the arch better? You mentioned you, you suggested there are some obstacles. Well, you know, I think the first is uh, having um, a design that uh, for for the improvements uh, that will connect uh, the arch to downtown St. Louis and to the and to the courthouse that meets uh, and gets the uh, support of the local community uh, and also meets the requirements that we have from a national parks perspective. We need to make sure we're protecting the historic character of, of this site uh, and that we're not compromising that. And so the design competition, uh, it seems to me from the meetings that I had today with Senator McCaskill, uh, the mayor, and uh, civic leaders, that there is uh, great enthusiasm about moving forward with uh, the design competition. And uh, so that will be our first challenge, is to come up with a, a design that uh, you know, can be uh, widely supported, and I think we will get there. And then the second challenge will be uh, how we get the, the financing together. But we need to have the plan. And, uh, you know, once we have the plan in place, and uh, we'll work hard to figure out a way of uh, getting the money together to get the improvements built. And we're looking at 2015 to celebrate the 50th uh, anniversary. And uh, so we will uh, get it done by then. So we can have a great birthday celebration here. And uh, if there are things that we can do to, to move heaven and earth, uh, we will do that to try to get it done even before then. I would uh, I would leave this message with the people of, of Missouri, that I think um, we are in a time of uh, great crisis, but also in a time of great hope. And I think that when you look back at the history of the United States, much of what you see right here in, uh, in Missouri, uh, it's been in a time of crisis that America has really uh, stood up and found uh, its great greatest strength. Think about the Civil War. Um, it was during the Civil War that Abraham Lincoln uh, decided to set aside the lands that became uh, Yosemite, and it's because he felt that uh, those landscapes uh, refueled the American spirit. Uh, if you think about the great uh, conservationist president uh, Theodore Roosevelt, who uh, also was, uh, you know, at the time of the Industrial Age, uh, became the greatest uh, conservation president in the history of our country, uh, he also knew that uh, taking care of our national landscapes was something which would be very good. So he's the father of the wildlife refuges that we have right here in Missouri and all over this country and you know, a great uh, contributor to our legacy in national parks. You look at Franklin Roosevelt and that era of uh, the, the, the Civilian Conservation Corps, which you, you mentioned, Harry. Those, those were times when America came back and found its greatness. And I think now in 2009, we're, we're in that place again. Uh, we are fighting two wars uh, in uh, faraway places. Uh, we are looking at the most difficult uh, economic times that we've seen since the Great Depression. And uh, I think we look to the landscapes to uh, really refuel uh, the um, um, sense of, um, of, uh, of optimism, which has always been a part of the American spirit. So I, I, I'm optimistic. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a realist that, uh, you know, we have some tough challenges that are facing us today. But I'm also an optimist that uh, I truly believe that our, our best days are ahead.